a big welcome back to all my subscribers. And if you're not a subscriber, what's wrong with you? Right. Today, I want to talk to you about uh, Risk Five Assembly again, but this time talking about functions and function calls. Um, so let's just jump straight into it. I've written a sample program here. Uh, let me just show you what the program does first. Uh, if we just run double it, it starts with a value of one and it doubles it. And then when it gets to greater than 100, it stops. So let's look at the code. Um, now, what we do here is we set up the string that it's going to output, which is just the value and then the um, digit. If you've used printf in C, you will recognize the way that this looks. So that's our data section and then our text section, which is the actual code. Uh, we have a global main. We load a zero with the value of one and we load S1 with the value of 100. Now, one thing you need to be aware of when you use registers in RISC is that when you call some functions like from the C library, like printf, it is going to clobber the A registers. It will overwrite them. It'll, you'll lose them all. The S you won't lose. It does store them or save them or however you want to say it. it may or may not wipe your temporary registers, but you do need to be aware that some of your registers will get lost. And so you need to store those values, usually on the stack. And RISC doesn't have a nice pop and push functions. So you have to do it manually, but we'll get into that. So I've got a label here that I'm going to jump back to because I don't want to reload these every time. And then basically it just calls the double it function. Now again, this is just a label, but this particular label has return. So we call double it. And then when it returns, we check to see if it is greater than 100. If it, sorry, if it's less than 100. If it's less than 100, it jumps back up here to DB and does it again. If it is greater than 100, it just jumps to exit, which is defined down below here. Now, the double it function is the really interesting bit. It enters this function, and the first thing it does is it doubles it. And it doubles it, as we've seen earlier, by just doing a shift left. Um, then we copy the value that has been doubled, the value that's now in A0, into T0 a temporary storage because, remember, A will get clobbered. We decrement the stack pointer by four bytes because we want to store something in the stack pointer. It doesn't have a nice push and pop, so this is basically a push. You decrement the stack pointer by the amount that you need to store, and then you simply store those values. So SW is store word. Uh, and so we, we store RA and A0. Um, the RA is the return, wh where we want it to return to, so where we entered this, this uh, function. And then we store A0, because we're going to need to get that back later. We set up the arguments for printf. Um, so we load the format string, which was the sort of printf string format above where it's value and then a digit and then a new line character. And then we move um, into a1 t0. So if you can imagine uh, a printf statement in C, we would do something like printf some text and a digit, and then, I don't know, the, the, the value in x, right? And that would be our printf statement. Well, in assembly, this text corresponds to what goes into a0, and this next argument 
is A1. If you remember a couple of, in the last maybe two ago, two series in the series, we, we talked about how arguments are loaded sequentially. The first one goes into A1, the next one goes into, uh, sorry, in A0, the next one goes into A1, the next one goes into A2, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So, uh, we load the string into A0, and then we move the value in to t, uh, sorry, into a1, and then we call printf, which is the call to the printf in the C library. Now you'll notice that we did this the same way as we called our own function. We did a call to the function, and the linker will work out that it's inside here, but when we call this function, we're calling the standard library. So we put this bit on the end to let it know that you need to this, this isn't within our program. And then we restore the values on the stack, which printf will have trashed. So we, we load rather than store. So we load a word into a1 from four on the stack pointer, and then we load ra from zero on the stack pointer, and then we use the keyword return. And return will take us back to this next value. And then we check. So let's just quit out of there and run this through the GDB. Put a breakpoint at main, run it. Now you can see over here that we're, we're loading. We can see these values if you want. So A0, S1, and we move, we now call double it, and you see it jumps past all the other stuff down to this function. We do the shift, and we can again look at the value that's currently in A0. It's two, and we step. It does, the stack point stores the values, calls the format, and now there's a pointer in A0. So if we now look at A0, you can see it's, it's a pointer value. So it's a pointer to that string. And then we step, and then we don't want to do that. We want to do continue. <laughs> or next to skip over the function call. And it prints out the value two, and then we step, and then we step, and then we return. It checks to see the value in A0 and S1 and compares them. You can see it's two and the other one's 100, so it is not going to match, and so it jumps back up to DB and then back. So we won't go through all of that, um, the whole thing. You can see it here. It's just basically going to go through and double those values. But that is how you do function calls within the RISC-V assembly. So remember, when you're doing these um, function calls that you're going to need to save values onto the stack. Now there you can look up in the risk documentation, the risk five assembly documentation, which registers will get clobbered. But if you just remember that the A registers are going to get clobbered and probably your T or temporary ones will get clobbered as well. And you should probably save everything in S where you can. Um, that's usually the best bet. If you like these sort of videos, please like and subscribe and all of that and I will see you next time. Thank you for watching.